can you just <laughs> maybe just give us your overall thoughts on that crazy second period and and just how important it was that you responded the way you did even if you had a, a lead at the time yeah no i mean um no i thought we were playing pretty solid through the entire game obviously a couple of shifts had us hemmed in but i mean <clears throat> You know, they scored that uh, that goal to make it 2-1. And, you know, our response was great um, from every line. Obviously, you know, you know, PD, Millsy, and Bess had, uh, you know, two huge goals there uh, for us that, um, you know, that got us back right back on track. And, you know, we need that from our group. And, you know, before those weren't going in for us, and thankfully tonight they were. Would you say, Brock, that might be the team's most complete effort start to finish of the year? I think it's definitely up there. Um, you know, I think Bo said, I think a few times they had us hemmed in and we're getting some momentum, but I think we had a good response that um, during all times of the game, we, um, you know, the next uh, line got the puck and, and got the puck deep and, and spent some time in the offensive zone. So, um, you know, I really liked our team's game tonight and thought we played uh, a good 60 minutes. Next, we'll go to Farhan Alji. Well, we'll start with you um, on your goal when Marky came out. You saw what he did to Tanner. Just what was going through your mind when you saw him there? Um, just try not to get hit. I mean, you know that uh, that was a pretty big collision with him and Tanner. Um, you know, I was just uh, obviously trying to get my head up as quick as possible, and thankfully he didn't run me over. And um, you know, thankfully it went in too. So um, you know, just he, he's done that a couple times, even when he played for us. So it was um, you know vintage Marky there. Brock, for you, you scored a, a few goals in the last little bit here that haven't just been goals. They've been snipes. And you've been through a lot in the last couple of years as far as um, injuries and, you know, late starts and what have you. What kind of a statement do you think you're making about your game with what you've been able to do offensively this season so far? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, personally, um, you know, I thought – you know, last season, I think I've said it a lot where I've, I learned a lot and you know, it was a fresh start to this year. And, um, you know, I'm feeling good. My whole body's feeling good. Um, but, um, you know, it's a team game. And, um, you know, I think I said a couple of interviews ago that I'd like to score when our team's winning. And, um, you know, it feels so much better when you do that. And um, just for our, our team to play a, a complete game tonight, it's huge for us. And I think, um, you know, over these last couple of games, um, we got a lot of momentum. We just need to keep it going now. Next up, we'll go to Ian McIntyre. Well, do you think you guys got over uh, some kind of hurdle tonight, you know, to have a offensive outburst? Uh, you chased Marky from the net. Is that Marky yelling through the door or what? <laughs> uh, but, you know, psychologically, do you feel like you, this is a bit of a breakthrough performance? Yeah. No, I think we just want to keep building off of it. I mean, we, we don't, again, we don't want to make our highs too high and our lows too low. And, I think um, obviously we just keep getting better and better here, and you know obviously it's nice to get rewarded for the chances we had tonight. Marky stood on his head, um, you know, a lot against us, and to, to finally put a couple past him and and um, you know get rewarded for a lot of our hard work and our chances tonight. It definitely gives our group confidence, but again, we have to do that every single night. It's uh, and we still got a lot of hockey left. Um, we got a lot of work to do, a lot of catching up to do, and and we need to keep doing that. And Brock, I don't know if you were aware, after last game, uh, Travis was fairly critical of the top power play unit, but you know, the, the lotto line is all on the top unit as well. Did, did you s think of that at all as sort of a challenge to you guys? And did you feel like um, you need to, need to have more games where basically you take control of the game as a line? Yeah, um, you know, I think Obviously, it's separate from the power play. I mean, our power play is, you know, five guys working together. But, um, you know, as, as a line, we knew we need to be better and I think um, score more goals and get more offense his own time. And I thought we did a lot better tonight of um, getting in on the forecheck, turning the puck over and spending time there. And um, I think that resulted in a few goals. And, um, you know, I think it was a good step for our line. And we, we got to keep it going and uh, continue to, to score with Bo's line. Take a few more here. Go with uh, Ben Kuz. Hey, guys, you've answered a lot of key questions already, but I have one for each of you. I'll start with Bo. Uh, Bo, Niels Hoaglander at the start of the year in a, in a preseason poll for Calder Trophy finalists. There were 20 guys. His name was not on the list. 
Uh, tonight, he starts a scoring sequence on two goals. He sprung Pierce uh, for, for that break. He's now tied uh, for third in rookie scoring. Uh, I know he's been there since day one, Bo, but how impressed are you with the fact that he just keeps getting better? I mean, Hogs has been awesome. And, um, you know, he's uh, not only does he make plays, but he works hard. And I think that's the biggest thing. And, and he's, he's taking care of his own end, too. And he's just all over the ice. He's like... Um, He's like a little water bug out there. He's just constantly, constantly moving, constantly um, getting in the forecheck and working hard and, and, and doing the little things and he's getting rewarded for it. And, you know, he's, um, he's definitely added a lot to, to Pierce and I's line. We love playing with him and um, we just got to keep getting better as a line. And he's just going to keep better, getting better as a player. Cause you know, this, this guy's the limit with him. One for you, Brock. Uh, JT's been under a lot of scrutiny here because when you lead uh, the team in scoring last year, uh, there's going to be a lot of attention. Um, he was a key part, obviously, to that response in the second period. And his goal seemed to be um, some that one element on your line that that's there that a lot of people don't talk about, how well uh, JT can actually shoot the puck and ring in that one off the post tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think I think personally, JT is still having a phenomenal year. Um, you know, he's such a good player and such a, a key part of our team. And, um, you know, for him to get that goal in the second, it was huge for us. And then, um, you know, he made a, a really nice play, that same shift on Schmidt's goal. So, um, I mean, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he works hard each and every night. He cares a lot. And um, like I said, he's a huge part of our team. And, um, you know, he's going to keep uh, getting better for us. And as hopefully our line keeps getting better and spends more time in the offensive zone. We'll take a last couple of questions here from Thomas Drantz. Bo, I just want to ask you about the start to the game. When you get double shifted right out the gate like that, do you know ahead of time or do you just feel the tap on your back uh, after the Pedersen line takes their shift? Um, how does that work? Uh, and, and obviously it paid off tonight. Uh, do you think that was an important pace, like tone setter? to the game um, yeah i mean i it was just the top on the back we we're not told before the game who we're going to be going against or if we're going to be def- double shifted um maybe you know greener didn't get the matchup he wanted in the first shift and and figured we'd get the matchup he wanted on the second and i mean you know i'm not sure it's, it's just uh the way it worked out but i mean we we're just trying to to get in there on the forecheck and and set the tone for our team and thankfully um you know hogs made a good play to turn that puck over and and better made a heck of a play to to bear it and Brock, uh, maybe the team's results obscured it, but it, it does seem like your line's been playing better for perhaps a, a more extended stretch than just going back to the Toronto game, maybe even going back 10 games or so. Uh, what do you think's made the difference in your, in your line spending just more zone time or, or generating more chances uh, over the last handful of games? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just being closer to each other in the offensive zone. Um, you know, working together and just kind of knowing where each other are. Um, I think early, earlier on in the season, we were getting spread out a lot and, um, you know, we didn't have that close support. And I think that's huge in the offensive zone. And, um, you know, I felt that we were all by each other tonight and uh, moving the puck well and holding on to pucks. I think, um, you know, earlier in the season too, we were, we were just getting the puck and kind of throwing it places. So, um, you know, I think uh, puck control is a, is a big thing for us in the Ozone.